Around the middle of December last year, some worrying posts began to appear on Apple forums from users whose brand new M1 MacBook Air or M1 MacBook Pro had mysteriously stopped working. At first, it was just a few cases, but as the number of people went up, a common pattern began to emerge. Almost everyone with a dead M1 MacBook had been using a USB Type-C hub with USB-C power delivery. At the time, I wasn't too concerned. Even though I'd been using my Orki USB-C hub with power delivery on my M1 MacBook Air, it had been working fine for weeks. And then, suddenly, it wasn't. Yesterday, I unplugged the power cable and the MacBook screen immediately turned off, even though the battery was fully charged. When I tried to turn it back on, it just made a clicking sound. It was nine weeks old. My own hub was the Orkey CBC71, but it isn't just the single brand or model of USB-C hub that's affected. The symptoms are a black screen, no power, and many users report a clicking or tapping sound. One poll on Reddit has the number of N1 MacBook users who are using USB-C hubs with power delivery and whose machines subsequently stopped working at around 1 in 4. But this poll closed a month ago, and there's no telling how many people who reported at the time that their machine was working has since had their machine die. My own M1 MacBook was working for weeks until suddenly it wasn't. If these were just isolated cases of a few faulty M1 Macs, then you might expect maybe only one in every thousand MacBooks to be affected. But several of the users in the threads I've been reading are now on their third or even fourth MacBooks, having had each of them break one after the other in the same way. If the chance of getting a faulty MacBook were only maybe one in a thousand, then the chance of getting two faulty MacBooks in a row would be one in a million, and the chance of getting three faulty MacBooks one after the other, all with the same issue, would be one in a billion. So, as more cases appear, it's looking more and more like this is potentially a fundamental engineering issue with these first-gen N1 MacBooks, and specifically with the implementation of USB-C power delivery. Most of the dead machines died while sleeping with the USB-C hub or monitor attached, all while plugging in or unplugging the cable. I'll link to threads on Reddit, Mac Rumors, and Apple's own support forums about this issue, down in the video description. In the meantime, if you have an M1 Mac, I'd really advise to stop using a hub or monitor with USB-C power delivery, and instead connect the original Apple charger directly to the USB-C port on your Mac. I know this is a pain since you only get two ports to begin with, so having one taken up by the charger leaves you with just one free Thunderbolt 3 port but it's the only way right now to avoid the risk of bricking your new Mac. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.